welcome back to my channel so today I'm back with another DIY earring making clay kind of a video and we're going to follow the same steps almost the same steps as we have done in the other video speaking of which if you haven't seen that already I'll link that down below so basically we're going to mix the clay together and then we are going to roll it out keeping the thickness we want a little bit of thickness and here we are making the pendant first so for that I used a container that I had lying around which was hardly two inches not exactly but hardly and we are just going to cut out a design then we are going to mix the clay once again and then cut out two more smaller circles which were hardly like uh, one inch each and these are going to be our earrings and uh, once this once the basic shapes are out uh, for the earring we have to punch a hole through the center and uh, as for the necklace we're going to uh, put on a clasp on top so we can attach to the actual thread so we're going to let this dry for another half an hour to an hour and uh, during that time I'm just going to stencil out the design that I wanted to do. After I got this tracing paper, I just stopped drawing altogether. This is just so much easier. So after the drying process is done and our clay is actually hard, we can actually uh, shape it to our liking so the rigid edges will go and we'll get just a smooth surface. And here I'm just going to trace the design onto the clay and again I'll suggest you using the golden transfer paper or the carbon sheet because it's much less messier than this. And here I'm just going to use this light violet color um, and I'm going to apply this as a background. Again the color you use, the design so you're going to use, everything is dependent upon your creativity. This is just what I wanted to do, so yeah. So once I had the lavender all painted down here, I'm just going to use the magenta shade, but this was a little too dark for my liking. So I just lightened that up using some white color. And one thing about this lavender shade is that this shade oxidized a lot. It started off much lighter and then it oxidized into this darker shade to which if I applied the magenta also it would totally darken things up. So that is why we just lighten the pink shade. And also I applied two shades of pink so once the first coat was completely dried I went ahead added some more magenta to the paint that we already had and just shaded on the outer side this just adds a little bit more definition and now for the last component of our drawing I just mix some green color with some white um, and I just use that to draw the leaves and the stems and again I'm using the uh, same eyeliner brush that I used in my last video this is much more convenient you can also get these small bristle brushes but I, I had this lying around now I'm just going to use a CD marker to outline these shapes and this is a very important step this will make it look a lot cleaner the whole design will look a lot cleaner and this pen was completely useless because I only actually drew that flower there and then it just stopped working it just dried out completely and i had to complete the rest of the design using the brush that i mentioned earlier and some paint but it worked completely fine So once that was completely dried, make sure it is completely dry. Here I'm just going to use some fabric paint diluted with some water and I'm just going to apply a coat on both sides of the pendant. Now what this will do is, um, as you'll see in the next step, when I'm applying a glaze or um, a super glue, whatever I'm applying on top, I don't want the color to actually bleed and spread. So this, when I'm applying this on top of the pendant, it will completely lock up the design. And it will also add a glossy effect. So once that was dried, this is what it looked like. You can use any pay, uh, any glue you want as long as it will dry out transparent. 
now for making the beads you can make beads out of molded clay but i didn't have the patience for that so i just uh, painted some beads that i had lying around using uh, the magenta and the lavender shade i made 10 of each and once the glue was completely dried here i'm applying some uh, super glue again i'll have all the products linked in the description and i just applied a generous coat of this throughout in an even manner and once it dried out this is how it looked like it adds a glossy effect you can use a glaze but i didn't have that lying around so this just worked completely fine i applied two coats of this um, and make sure that the coats are dried in between otherwise there will be a chance of cracking and this is how it looked you can see how glossy it looked and yeah now for the uh, actual necklace part i'm using this fishing wire and i just folded it into three parts so that it will actually have some thickness to it and won't break apart and um, yeah I just beaded the beads together and uh, here I added some white beads then I later went and painted them over with the magenta and lavender because I just don't think it went together well and for the earring also I did the exact same thing of painting and gluing I didn't want to repeat that again and I'm just making it into a earring you can see it from here, it's better than me explaining the whole process. And that was it. It was so easy to make this both, although it took a little bit of time with the drying process and all. But if you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye-bye.